it is very common that employees get disheartened at work. One of the things that we teach in our trainings is that even from the day one, one of the goals of the day one of onboarding of an employee is to make sure that the experience in the company is so positive that they're happy and glad that they joined the organization. Because what happens is that sometimes from day one, we are not treating our people with respect or, or we are not meeting their expectations. And once they get disheartened, it is really hard to gain their trust and their excitement for the company again. And so we need to really find out and take the time to find out why they are unable or unwilling to do the job. And if it's something that we we have created an environment, a culture, something that we created as an organization that maybe we should correct that and hopefully be able to turn that person around. Now, sometimes the reason people don't want to do it is because they have things going on personally in, in their lives and you may be able to accommodate or not. All I'm saying is that when you are able to determine that they simply do not want to do the job that you expect them to do, that you really need to take the time to figure out why so that you can decide what the next steps might be. Now, you know, and this will take time and effort, but if you truly care about them, it will be something that is important for you to do. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I have an employee a, a long time ago when I was in charge of a large organization and this employee, he did a great job sometimes. And then sometimes he did a really poor job. And then he turned around and we had a conversation with him and then he got re-inspired and he did a good job again. But then I always saw that his performance would always go back down, you know, until one day I realized and I heard through the grapevine that when his motivation was going down and his performance was going down was because he was doing something else, a hobby, he thought, which was se selling cars. Now, we are a food service organization. He was the head, a unit manager of a unit in charge of, you know, the, the business. But when his performance was going down was because he was excited about selling used cars. That was his passion. And it got to the point that we gave him a chance and another chance and another chance until one day, you know, that was it. And so what I told him to do was, look, if you are so passionate about selling used cars and that whole idea of the business, why don't you do that full time? And that's one of the conversations that we had when we finally had to let him go. Now, I will tell you that he was fearful of leaving the organization to do what he was passionate about. But at that point he had lost his job. You know, he had the opportunity to actually focus full time on that new job. And he loved it so much. He was so good at it that he became very successful. As a matter of fact, I bought two cards from him after I let him go. All right. And so eventually he actually thanked me for letting him not go because the company letting him go gave him the chance to pursue something that he truly was passionate about and became very successful doing that.